Our district has always had a strong focus on student achievement, but through the use of the data and really meaningful and strategic use of data, we've been able to really focus on every individual student. I think that we've always used data, but we didn't use it efficiently. I think we've learned new ways to analyze the data and um, give our teachers the ability to interpret that data and utilize it in their classrooms. So Data Dialogues is a system that we have in place that we do three times a year. The principals come with their team, their assistant principals. They've become so good since 2011 when we started this. We refer to our administrators as educational surgeons. Just like a surgeon can get right to it, so can our administrators. They can get right to where is the problem. We're not here to have you brag about where you're at. Tell us where the problem is, how can we help fix it, and how are you fixing it? Related to the decrease in the students with um, failing two or more classes, what do you attribute that to? Is that related to academic vital statistics, mm -hmm. or do you have something else that, that we can share with your mm -hmm. middle school colleagues tomorrow? I think it's a barrage of issues that starts with vital statistics. There's more of an awareness of it. There, we, we it's not only is it tracking uh, grade level uh, appropriate assignments, it's also tracking uh, whether what is being taught is rigorous enough. So, and also how do we engage our students? Um, another aspect of the data dialogue is when we're hearing other schools offer suggestion, we're also learning from each other. We, uh, what we did at Golden Gate High School is we called every single parent. And what we noticed, upwards of 40% of those parents didn't even realize that they, the PSAT was happening. It could not have been otherwise without that data dialogue piece. It's not just the moments when you sit in front of the superintendent and members of the cabinet. It's really the two weeks leading up to this moment today of all the prep work on all those pages of the protocol because that's the true value of data dialogue. It's all of that, knowing what are those changes that they're making. The reporting out for the 10 minutes isn't really it. We have shown continuous improvement as a district in terms of student achievement data. So we know that really the systemic use of data is part of that success. If you look at high school, you can see the graduation rates have improved. You can see proficiency rates have improved with English, with math, with various maths at high school, um, math at middle school, eighth grade science scores have improved, civics proficiency rates have improved as a district. Uh, our focus on SEL, which is now another component of data dialogue, uh, has increased attendance rates, at least in Immokalee Middle, we've, we're beating the district average at all three grade levels for attendance. Focus on staff SEL, our, our staff attendance is better than the district average or in years past, it hasn't even been close to it. I think people can throw that word data around all the time. Oh, we have this data. We're data rich in the world nowadays. So are we with test score data and everything else. But it's what instructional changes do you make because of that data? We didn't start with this complex protocol. Eight years ago, we started with just a plain old Word document, a green line. Here's a question. List out your answers in yellow. Here's a question. So, of course, you know, people, it's very difficult to be where we're at now, but jump on. We're happy to show you all the different iterations, the different areas, the different protocols we've had um, to allow other people to have tremendous successes looking at every student because everyone in Florida has the same objective. That's to be sure our kids graduate with a high school diploma and their college career and life ready.